Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Soul Land 2 Peerless Tang Men based on novel. So let's start. The referees had arrived in the arena, but there wasn't anything they could do at this point. The battle had already ended, and as if to mock them, a purple ring of light rose from the wind tiger's body. A kill. There had only been a single collision between Dai Huobin and the Wind Tiger, yet Dai Huobin had savagely overwhelmed the Wind Tiger a thousand years old beast, with brute force, and had torn its body in half. Dai Huobin's body was drenched in the Wind Tiger's blood. The students from both Class 1 and Class 2 had all become pale-faced, while some female students couldn't even bear to continue looking. Only Zhu Lu had an extraordinary splendor in her eyes. After all, this was the man whom she most admired. She loved to see how valiant Dai Huobin was. Dai Huobin, didn't you hear me tell you to stay your hand? Du Weiluan's angry voice rang out. The death of a thousand-year soul beast wasn't exactly a small loss to the academy. It wasn't easy for them to capture a thousand-year soul beast and domesticate it, nor was it easy to soothe Gong Changlong. Dai Huobin indifferently replied, a battle between soul masters and soul beasts is always one of life and death. Since it wanted to kill me, why couldn't I kill it? Besides, I couldn't stay my hand. If I had, its counterattack could have injured me. In order to obtain full marks, I needed to avoid the error that Wang Dong made. I didn't have the 30% chance of failure that he did. As for the Academy's loss, I'm willing to compensate the Academy for it. Du Weiluan furrowed his brows tightly. Even though Dai Huobin was powerful, he was still too vicious. Furthermore, the personality of a rebellious student like him would grow stronger and stronger as his power increased, which would make it harder to control him. Du Weiluan glanced towards Yang Xiaozhe, who nodded slightly and whispered a few words to him. Du Weiluan sat back down and spoke in a low voice, Dai Huobin, you have obtained a hundred marks as your base score for choosing a thousand-year soul beast during the advancement test. The way you met force with force also embodied the strong points of an assault-type soul master. However, your technique was somewhat lacking. You've obtained 45 marks for your battle technique. You will also have to compensate the Academy's loss within 10 days. If you don't, the Academy will strip you of your status as a core disciple. Yes. Dai Huobin had somewhat regained his composure by this point. He naturally wouldn't go against Du Weiluan's word. He bowed slightly, saluted, then walked back towards his class with large strides. He'd obtained a total of 145 marks. This was an outstanding result that neared perfection. A score like this had never appeared within the year two advancement test in the past at least in Wang Yang, Zhu Yi, and Mu Jin's memories. In reality, Dai Huabin's performance truly had neared perfection. Though his hands had been injured, he'd retained his fighting strength. Moreover, he'd valiantly killed a thousand-year soul beast in battle despite being only 12 years old. Having such a cultivation at his age was extremely rare, even in the history of Shrek Academy, this was the main reason that Din Yang Xiaozhe had still given him such a high score. However, Dai Huobin shook his head. He towards class 1, then raised his right hand's index finger and pointed at Hui Yuhao. Hui Yuhao was currently gazing straight at him. At that moment, Dai Huobin realized that Hui Yuhao's gaze was extremely calm, so calm that it almost icy. He didn't seem to have any intentions of cowering in front of his blood-drenched, savage appearance. On the contrary, he didn't relent at all when their gazes met. Hui Yuhao knew that Dai Huobin was telling him, it's your turn now. Indeed, it's my turn now. Hui Yuhao clenched his fists tightly once he'd finished speaking. He nodded towards Wang Dong, then strode towards the arena with large strides. It took a few minutes for the arena to be cleaned up. Once it had been, the referee sent Hui Yuhao's test form to the tall stage, class 1, Hui Yuhao. Hui Yuhao reported his name calmly. As he did so, he stood tall and straight. Not only was he much more robust compared to a month ago, he was also quite a bit taller. Suddenly, the referee noticed that he was somewhat similar to Dai Huobin. Was it in his appearance? They seemed to be slightly similar. However, it had more to do with the confidence they both exuded the confidence that they would definitely win, are you still going to choose a hundred-year-old beast? The referee's impression of him was still fresh in his mind, 
This was the student who'd alerted even the Beast King two days ago. Hui Yu Hao shook his head. I choose a thousand year soul beast. A thousand year soul beast. The referee was stunned. Hui Yu Hao, you need to carefully think about this. You're only a two ringed soul grandmaster. A thousand year soul beast is still a bit too much pressure for you. You saw what just happened. Even if we wanted to help you out, in a close combat fight like this, it'd still take time for us to reach you. Despite his warning, Hui Yu Hao confirmed his decision unhesitatingly. Teacher, I've decided to take on the test's highest ranked opponent, a thousand year soul beast. Dai Huabin had obtained 145 marks, while Wang Dong had obtained 100 marks. In other words, Hui Yu Hao just needed to obtain more than 45 marks to win the bet. At the same time, the academy had requested that he not use his second soul skill during the test. In exchange, they had guaranteed that he would score at least 30 marks in order to ensure that he passed the advancement test. Du Weiluan had undoubtedly made a decision like this in order to see what he was capable of. If he hadn't, Hui Yu Hao would be able to pass the test solely by relying on his imitation, just like his performance the other day, let him. Du Weiluan's voice rang out from atop the tall stage, all right. The referee responded. The arena had already been fully cleaned up by this point. Hui Yu Hao, are you ready? The referee asked. He nodded. The referee gestured towards the arena, then reminded him, pay attention to your safety. If you don't think that you can beat your opponent, do your best to protect yourself. Hui Yu Hao nodded slightly, but he didn't reveal any emotions on his face, as he was currently fully concentrated on the upcoming battle. As such, he couldn't even spare the effort required to say a word of thanks. Wang Dong and Dai Huabin's three rings hadn't surprised any of the other students, but the students from class two immediately cried out in surprise the moment his soul rings appeared. Both of them were white, which represented two ten-year soul rings. Yet, would anyone truly dare to underestimate these ten-year soul rings? Two days ago, they had both been blood-red. At this point, almost no one who could tell what rank his soul rings truly were. Yang Xiaozhe's gaze was fixed on his body, and his eyes flickered slightly. Even though he didn't have a martial soul like the spirit eyes that could enhance his eyesight, his spiritual perception and vision weren't any less than Hu Yu Hao's when he was using his spiritual detection due to his cultivation. What a strange skill. When he activates it, even I can't sense the intensity of the aura from his soul rings. Is his second soul ring truly a ten-year soul ring? Du Weiluan furrowed his brows. Yang Xiaozhe shook his head. There's no way it's a ten-year soul ring. We've seen thousands upon thousands of soul rings. How could a soul ring that's capable of imitating the aura of a hundred thousand-year soul ring possibly be a ten-year soul ring? If it were only a ten-year soul ring, could he really have scared hundred or thousand-year soul beasts? If I were to make a guess, it's very likely that his soul ring is a thousand-year one, just like Wang Dong's. Du Weiluan was stunned. That can't be right. His first soul ring's only a ten-year one, how could his second one be a thousand-year one? His body shouldn't have been able to withstand absorbing one. At that point, their conversation stopped for the time being, as Hu Yu Hao's opponent had appeared. Surrounded by an intense aura of heat, a fire-wreathed lion charged out from the beast cage. It was no wonder they were the highest-ranked opponents a student could challenge during the advancement test. Not only were the soul beasts Wang Dong, Dai Huabin, and Hu Yu Hao faced thousand-year ones, they were all tyrannical existences such as lions, leopards, and bears too. Hui Yu Hao felt somewhat strange when he saw the flaming lion king. He thought back to his match with Wu Feng. It was that match that had resulted in him obtaining stable footing in class 1 and in sending Wu Feng to class 2. Wu Feng didn't know why this had happened, but the unyielding look in Hui Yu Hao's eyes would frequently pop up in her mind. He's actually going against the flaming lion king. This is gonna be a nice show to watch. Vicious thoughts popped up in Wu Feng's mind. It'd be good if it burned him to cinders. The flaming lion king charged out of the beast cage and roared towards the sky. The lion's distinctive mane spread outwards, and its fire red fur looked even more formidable due to the fire surrounding it. It was much more robust than the wind tiger that Dai Huabin had faced, its body was a full three meters long and its shoulders were one and a half meters wide. 
Its muscles were outlined distinctly, and its light brown eyes had a grim look to them. After letting out a roar, it shot through the air towards Hua Yuhao. The flames around its body rose unceasingly as it charged towards Hua Yuhao. The flames were so hot that they began to distort the air around them. Could Hua Yuhao really take on a thousand-year flaming lion king? It was even stronger than the bloodthirsty demon bear and wind tiger that Wang Dong and Dai Huobin had faced. Dai Huobin did not not believe for a second that such a miracle would occur. In his opinion, Hui Yu Hao wouldn't even be able to take a single blow from it. Hui Yu Hao stood unyieldingly as he faced the flaming Lion King's charge. He released his spiritual detection and locked it onto its body. Despite having faced a thousand-year soul beast in the past, it would be a lie to say that he wasn't nervous. This was still his first time facing a soul beast of its level by himself. However, he let out a mental sigh of relief once he sensed his opponent's attribute. After the crystals of ice covered Hu Yu Hao's body, the flaming Lion King suddenly stopped. The blazing flames around its body converged and turned into a fiery light, identical to its body which then shot straight towards Hu Yu Hao. This was the flaming Lion King's innate skill, flaming clone strike. The fiery light surrounding its body vanished as soon as it released this attack. However, the speed of its charge didn't diminish in the slightest as it continued to charge towards Hu Yu Hao. The referee had been following the entire situation closely. He felt somewhat surprised when the layer of ice crystals appeared on Hu Yu Hao's body. Just what was his martial soul? Furthermore, the audience had just noticed that his two soul rings were now just a single soul ring. This strange phenomenon sent the two referees into a daze for a brief moment. Naturally, this wasted some of their time. By the time they came back to their senses and realized that Hu Yu Hao might not be able to withstand the flaming Lion King's attack, it had already reached him. Du Weiluan had already risen to his feet, with his right hand pointed downwards. He could naturally see that the two referees wouldn't be able to make it in time to help Hu Yu Hao. Yang Xiaozhe flicked his sleeve and blocked Du Weiluan's hand. He smiled slightly and said, No need. At that moment, the flaming clone strike had already struck Hu Yu Hao. Astonished cries began to ring throughout the entire stadium, both Zhu Yi and Wang Yang rushed into the arena simultaneously. However, they suddenly stopped after taking three steps, they had just witnessed a miraculous scene. Right when the lion's flaming clone strike had collided with Hu Yu Hao's body, a layer of white mist surged from his body. Immediately after that, an illusory shadow flashed behind his body. Following which, the lion's skill vanished without a trace. It was as though it had never occurred in the first place. After the white mist disappeared, Hu Yu Hao's body returned back to its normal state. He clasped his hands behind his back and glared at the lion coldly. Scram, he shouted with a stern voice. After he was struck by the lion's flaming clone strike, a white mist had poured from Hu Yu Hao's body. At the same time, the crystalline ice armor he wore had turned jade green. Furthermore, an illusory image had appeared behind him as the white mist floated upwards. It was a meter and a half tall scorpion, and Yang Xiaozhe had clearly seen the scorpion coldly glare at the flaming Lion King with its crystal yellow eyes. At that exact moment, the lion had pissed itself. This wasn't the sense of fear caused by his imitation skill, but a true intimidation caused by the attribute of his martial soul. It was just like the intimidation Dai Huabin's white tiger released towards the wind tiger. Yang Xiaozhe's emotions surged violently as he hurriedly left. It had already been 76 years since he'd entered Shrek Academy, but this was the first ultimate element martial soul he'd seen. Ultimate Ice, this was the ultimate ice attribute. The fire-type flaming Lion King was frightened to the point of fleeing by Hu Yu Hao's ultimate ice-type martial soul. This was the absolute suppression that stemmed from their attributes. Only Yang Xiaozhe had been able to see through everything clearly, and he had made many decisions as a result. The skill Hu Yu Hao had just released was called the Ice Empress Armor, and it was the other skill that the Ice Empress 400,000 Year Soul Ring had given him. The Ice Empress Pincer and the Ice Empress Armor were absolute godly skills. Only, the current Hu Yu Hao wasn't able to reveal their true strength. However, the strength required to send a fire type opponent fleeing through elemental suppression posed no problem to him. Dai Huabin's confident eyes turned somewhat dazed. He muttered to himself, just how could this happen, how could this? At this moment, 
Du Weiluan's voice boomed across the arena, Hui Yu Hao's test is over. According to the dean's evaluation, Hui Yu Hao has obtained 150 marks. He passes with full marks. The astonished cries of various students immediately rang out. They didn't even know that the dean had been watching this round of the advancement test. Without a doubt, Du Weiluan's announcement of Hui Yu Hao's score had been made even more persuasive with his use of the dean's name. Hui Yu Hao slowly walked back to the area where the rest of the class 1 students were waiting. In reality, even he didn't know that a situation like this would occur. It hadn't even been his own intention to yell out the word scram in that instant, the Ice Empress had awakened. The Ice Empress had urged him to yell that out, and as a result the Grand Flaming Lion King was actually scared witless. The might of the Ice Empress Jade Scorpion was truly terrifying. Without even waiting for Hu Yu Hao to return, Wang Yang instinctively ran up to him. Though his eyesight wasn't as good as Yang Xiaozhe's, his research in the field of martial souls was extremely profound. Moreover, he more or less understood Hu Yu Hao's abilities, which resulted in him obtaining a few ideas as to what had really happened, Yu Hao, you, just now, the soul skill you used just now, what happened? Your two rings became a single ring, don't tell me you have two martial souls. Your second martial souls belongs to the ice element. Hui Yu Hao had been dragged away, but Wang Dong was still there. Even though he had been just as surprised by Hui Yu Hao's performance, Hui Yu Hao was still his martial soul fusion companion. The stronger Hui Yu Hao was, the stronger their combined combat strength would be. Thus, although he was stunned, he was also greatly excited. He turned and looked towards Dai Huabin with a look of disdain, whose face had begun to alternate between shades of green and white. He ridiculed, how about it, Mr. Dai? It seems that you were full of shit this time around. What do you mean taking on both of us by yourself? Hui Yu Hao's score alone is enough to beat yours. Remember to honor your promise later. A, the feeling of looking down on you from above truly feels good. You? When he heard this, Dai Huabin became so angry that his entire body began to shiver. His blood-drenched body caused him to look even more sinister. Zhu Lu almost rushed towards Wang Dong, while Xie Huan Yue simply had an astonished look on his face. Dai Huabin grabbed a hold of Zhu Lu, he'd unexpectedly managed to calm himself down after such a short amount of time. He looked towards Wang Dong and said indifferently, Since I was willing to make a bet with you, I'm also willing to admit my defeat. I'll naturally honor my promise when I see Hui Yu Hao later. After he said this, he turned towards Mu Jin, Teacher Mu, I'm heading back to clean myself up first. With that, he let go of Zhu Lu and glanced towards her with a deep look before leaving. The rancer and killing intent within Dai Huabin's eyes surged out like a waterfall as he left the great beast dueling arena. The current teacher Wang was a completely fanatical scholar. He continued to ponder unceasingly as he talked to himself, Yu Hao, what exactly is your second martial soul? Wang Yang looked towards him, an urgent tone in his voice. Hui Yu Hao replied, I heard teacher Ju say that it's the ice jade scorpion. Wang Yang sharply inhaled when he heard this. Perhaps the other teachers wouldn't recognize the ice jade scorpion, but he did. He had always devoted his efforts to the research of martial souls, thus he had naturally done research on soul beasts that solely belonged to the extreme north. He naturally knew about the terrifying existences that lived in that place, I understand, I understand. Wang Yang's eyes lit up. No wonder that flaming lion king ran, with its tail between its legs. Your second martial soul is actually an extremely rare ultimate martial soul. Heavens it's actually an ultimate martial soul. Hui Yu Hao scratched his head. Teacher Wang, I think I've heard Teacher Fan you mention this as well. What does an ultimate martial soul mean? Currently, Wang Yang was looking at Hui Yu Hao the same way he'd look at a lover in a dream. Hui Yu Hao felt somewhat guilty when he saw this. What is an ultimate martial soul? How should I explain this to you? Let's put it this way. As you know, there are various ranks within the world of soul masters. Hui Yu Hao nodded. Wan Yang continued, within these ranks, it's appropriate to say that twin soul soul masters are existences who stand at the top of the pyramid. Regardless of what their martial souls are, they are definitely much stronger than ordinary soul masters due to the fact that they can add soul rings to their second martial soul after they reach a certain level of strength. However, twin-souled soul masters are extremely rare. 
you're one of them, and Xiao Xiao is too. It's the first time in the outer courtyard's history that two twin soul soul masters have appeared at the same time. Besides a unique situation such as this however, there are certain differences between martial souls. There are beast souls, and then there are tool souls. All martial souls have characteristics that belongs to them alone, its existence is worth something as long as soul power appears when it awakens. Due to this fact, it's often very hard to differentiate strong and weak martial souls. Under different circumstances, or perhaps I should say, different domains, there won't be just one strongest martial soul. However, even though that's normally the case, there are a few martial souls publicly recognized as extremely powerful ones, the first of these are body souls. Body souls are extremely powerful due to the fact that they are part of a soul master's body. A soul master's trained body is naturally more accommodating to their wishes when compared to a martial soul created after its awakening. According to the legends, there are three extremely powerful ice-type races who live within that extremely frigid world. They are known as, respectively, the Titan Ice Devils, the Ice Jade Scorpions, and the Snow Ladies. The kings of their respective races are known as the three emperors of the extreme north. I can guarantee that these emperors are transcendent soul beasts. A sense of admiration spontaneously arose in Hu Yu Hao's heart when he heard Wang Yang say this. His description of the extreme north was identical to what the Sky Dream Iceworm had said. In a situation where there was no way for them to collect any information from that place, teacher Wang somehow possessed this much knowledge about it. The amount of dedication he'd put towards the research of soul beasts could be seen from this. Even the newly awakened Ice Empress couldn't help but praise that he was somewhat knowledgeable. Wang Yang naturally didn't know what Hu Yu Hao was thinking. He continued excitedly, the Snow Ladies are supposedly the strongest race within the extreme north. Nobody's clear about their origins, but I strongly suspect that they have human blood, their appearance resemble those of humans as well. They are definitely ultimate martial souls. Hui Yu Hao shook his head blankly. Wang Yang continued, It's because it's extremely hard for our bodies to endure an ultimate martial soul. Think about it. Regardless of whether it's your ultimate ice, or that ancestor's ultimate fire, the extreme amount of power that appears once it awakens could easily blow a soul master's body apart. Without an unusual amount of innate talent, a person simply couldn't withstand it. Because of this, the chances that an ultimate element will appear on the continent are minuscule, they are exponentially rarer than body souls. Based on what you've said, I'm going to make an outrageous hypothesis, your second martial soul had already appeared when you first awakened your martial soul, but a mutation occurred and it gained a shred of intelligence. Its element was too tyrannical, thus it must have restrained itself. Wang Yong took a deep breath. Yu Hao, let me give you a piece of advice. Even though you've become a core disciple of the soul tool department, you're still someone who has an ultimate martial soul. As such, the martial soul department is the best place for you to study. Only in the martial soul department will you be able to properly raise your ultimate martial soul. To tell the truth, your innate talent is the highest I've ever seen. I never could have imagined that, not just twin martial souls, but both a body soul and an ultimate martial soul could coexist inside of the same person. You aren't that strong right now. However, given enough time and assuming you continue to cultivate properly, your strength will continue increasing at an extremely fast pace. At the same time, your spirit eyes martial soul can still awaken twice. Heavens! I'm already incapable of imagining the heights you'll reach in the future. However, you'll have to pay close attention to your cultivation. An ultimate element is extremely strong, but even an ultimate martial soul has its disadvantages which is related to the speed of your cultivation. According to the Academy's records, the three ancestors, who possessed the ultimate element all felt their cultivation speeds drop dramatically once they reached rank 30. Hui Yu Hao was startled. A drop in cultivation speed. To what extent is this drop? So, what do you think? You should seriously consider transferring to the martial soul department. If you're willing to, I'll personally notify the dean. He'll surely give you the position of a core disciple this time. Furthermore, I can assure you that, with your level of talent, you'll definitely advance to the inner courtyard. Hui Yu Hao furrowed his brows slightly. However, in the end, he shook his head. Thank you, Teacher Wang. I appreciate your good intentions. However, when I was in a pinch, 
it was the sole tool department that accepted me. Now that I've become a core disciple of that department, I can't go back on my word. Wang Yang sighed. The martial soul department is also at fault for being so short-sighted. When you and Wang Dong placed first in the freshman assessment, I went ahead and asked Elder Xian to take another look at the two of you. However, they Wang Yang sighed again. An ultimate martial soul can't be wasted. Yu Hao, even if decide to specialize in soul tools in the future, you absolutely can't neglect the cultivation of your martial soul. I'll do my best to convince the martial soul department to help you obtain your future soul rings. You definitely must cultivate this ultimate element of yours properly. Hui Yu Hao's eye sockets became somewhat red when he heard this. Teacher Wang, I'll remain your disciple forever. You don't have to worry about me. I'll definitely cultivate diligently and live up to your expectations. This gentle voice was like a warm breeze, it was extremely pleasing to the ear. When he heard it, Hui Yu Hao immediately felt his spiritual sea fluctuate slightly. The Sky Dream Ice Worm and the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion both simultaneously exclaimed from inside of Hui Yu Hao's spirit sea, this human is extremely powerful. Wan Yang became delighted when he heard these words, and immediately moved to open the door to his office. The person waiting outside was the dean of the martial soul department, Yang Xiaozhe. Dean Yang had held a meeting with all of the core teachers when he'd returned to the inner courtyard. After a simple discussion, he'd left once again and had returned to the test area to look for Hui Yu Hao as fast as he could. He then heard that he'd been led away by Wang Yang. When he'd learned this, he decided to come to place directly. With his cultivation, he could hear the sound made by flies and mosquitoes flapping their wings from several kilometers away, listening in on the contents of Wang Yang's speech had been a piece of cake for him, Dean. Wang Yang greeted Yang Xiaozhe respectfully. He admired Dean Yang from the bottom of his heart. Wang Yang was overjoyed. Thank you, Dean. This is incredible. Really, this is just incredible. If it weren't for the fact that Yang Xiaozhe was there, he would have immediately begun to jump for joy. Becoming a teacher of the inner courtyard and being able to read books from the secret library, these were things that Wang Yang had always hoped for. He hadn't expected that his lifetime goal would be achieved just like this. How could he not be happy? Yang Xiaozhe stepped into Wang Yang's office. Once he had, the door to the office closed of its own accord. Hui Yu Hao, who was near Wang Yang, also hurried to greet him respectfully. Yang Xiaozhe arrived in front of Hui Yu Hao and said with a faint smile, Student Hui Yu Hao, I came specifically to talk to you this time. First things first, I would like to apologize to you on behalf of the entire Martial Soul Department. Once he'd finished speaking, one of the true members of Shrek Academy, the Majestic Dean, who possessed an enormous amount of prestige within the world of Soul Masters, bowed slightly to Hui Yu Hao. Hui Yu Hao couldn't stop him, he'd been in a daze from the moment that Yang Xiaozhe had entered the room. The moment that Yang Xiaozhe had appeared, he'd already guessed that he'd come here for him, in the hopes that he'd enter the martial soul department. Hui Yu Hao had planned to reject his offer, but he hadn't expected Yang Xiaozhe to use a trick like this. Let alone Hui Yu Hao, even the nearby Wang Yang had become so shocked that his mouth was wide open. He'd never seen Dean Yang bow to anyone. After bowing, Yang Xiaozhe straightened his back. He was still smiling like before and didn't seem to be even the slightest bit embarrassed. He gently said, Student Hui Yu Hao, because of our negligence, the martial soul department nearly lost someone as talented as you. I sincerely apologize for this. The blame rests with us, we were unable to properly assess your skills. We almost lost an outstanding student. Hui Yu Hao was only able to react now, his small face had become entirely red, and gestured again and again. However, he couldn't say anything. The difference between him and Yang Xiaozhe was comparable to that of heaven and earth. Yang Xiaozhe had unexpectedly bowed to him, this alone had left him dumbfounded. His mind had been thrown into confusion, thus he didn't know how to reply. He had already forgotten the words he'd prepared in order to refuse his offer. Hui Yu Hao unconsciously shook his head. Yang Xiaozhe smiled faintly. Then, he continued in a firm tone, it means that you'd be invincible and unmatched in the world. These words spoken by Yang Xiaozhe were like a bomb. Hui Yu Hao's body swayed, and he had to take a step back. Luckily, his will was much stronger than that of the average person's. If it weren't, he might have fallen down, 
which would have caused him to lose a large amount of face. Secondly, with my position as Dean of the Martial Soul Department, I can assure you that the Academy will do everything in its power to give you a complete set of soul bones. I'll do my best to give you soul bones of the highest quality to ensure that you have the highest possible fusion rate with the soul bones. I can also guarantee that there will be at least one soul bone from a hundred thousand year old soul beast included within this set. Thirdly, I can guarantee that you'll be given a hundred thousand year old soul ring, at the very least. Wang Yang became dumbfounded when he heard everything that Yang Xiaozhe had to say. His first reaction to the dean's proposal was that the dean had gone crazy, the soul tool department might be wealthy, but could they find a top-ranked soul bone? Could the soul tool department help Hui Yu Hao hunt down a hundred thousand year soul beast? It was evident that both of these things would be impossible to them. Yang Xiaozhe had returned to the inner courtyard before he'd come over, and had had a discussion with a few of the teachers in charge of the core disciples. In the end, they decided that they definitely had to keep Hu Yu Hao in the martial soul department, no matter the cost. If someone were to ask him if Hu Yu Hao was worth this incredible cost, Yang Xiaozhe's answer would be that he definitely was. That's right, the martial soul department was going to huge lengths, just for the sake of obtaining Hu Yu Hao. However, when Hu Yu Hao became an adult, Shrek Academy's position as number one on the continent would definitely be solidified for at least the next 300 years with him around. At that moment, a hurried shout suddenly rang out. It was so sudden that both Hu Yu Hao and Wang Dong trembled in shock, Yang Xiaozhe, have you no shame? Yang Xiaozhe smiled and replied, Old Qian, how do you manage to get enough free time to come over to the Martial Soul Department's office building? Qian Duo Duo exasperatedly said, Yang Xiaozhe, do you still want your face? Ah? What did we agree on? You promised to give Hu Yu Hao to the Soul Tool Department, for him to be a core disciple. This is what was agreed upon when I won the bet at that time. Yang Xiaozhe replied, Indeed, I did promise that. However, even I am human, and humans will always have times where they make mistakes, right? There's an old saying, one can only reform oneself after recognizing one's mistakes. Am I not correcting my mistakes right now? Qian Duo Duo became furious. Rubbish. Are you saying that you can shove shit back inside after you've excreted it? If you dare to steal him from me, I'll have to fight you. Yang Xiaozhe expression remained beaming as he replied, You wanna fight? Sure. We fought a lot when we were younger. Now that we're old it really has been a long time since we've learned fighting techniques from each other. Sure, let's go and find a place to fight at. If I win, Hu Yu Hao stays inside of my martial soul department, and you can't fight me over him anymore. Qian Duo Duo almost fainted from anger. Yang Xiaozhe, I've met shameless people. However, I've never seen you behave so shamelessly before. You don't keep your word. You're shameless. The rage on Qian Duo Duo's face immediately dissipated the moment he saw this person. Lina, I'm glad you finally came. Otherwise, I'd die from anger due to this old bastard. The newcomer was a woman, about 1.7 meter tall. She looked like she was in her early fifties. Her skin was white, her black hair was neatly bundled up, and her gilded clothes made her look extremely experienced. Though she was aged, one could still tell that she was definitely an absolute beauty in her youth. Fan Yu bent down to Hu Yu Hao's ear and whispered, This is our dean, Xian Lina. Hu Yu Hao had calmed down much more with Fan Yu by his side. He knew that remaining silent at this moment was for the best. When the gods were fighting, it was better for a lowly student like him to stay out of the way. Yang Xiaozhe furrowed his brows upon seeing Xian Lina, Lina, your Xian Lina said icily, and what are you relying on in order to pull this off? Is it just because your martial soul department is the top-ranked one in the continent? Does that mean that our soul tool department has to give you our core disciples? How do you know that this child won't become someone outstanding by staying in our soul tool department? I admit that what you've said isn't wrong. If your martial soul department nurtures him well, it's very likely that he'll become your department's future pillar, and in turn will allow you to maintain your position as the number one martial soul department on the continent. Qian Duodua's expression became somewhat strange. He was slightly embarrassed and yet not. However, the anger on his face had completely vanished. This time around, Yang Xiaozhe's face alternated between shades green and white. 
He had a myriad of forms of sophistry, yet he couldn't use any of them in front of Xian Lina. He had a guilty conscience regarding her, due to certain things he'd done during his youth. However, an ultimate twin soul soul master was something that might not even occur once in a millennium for the martial soul department. Thus, as the dean of the martial soul department, he couldn't simply give up, because of his personal feelings. Yang Xiaozhe took a deep breath, Lina, here's how I see it. This matter, has already reached the point where we can't settle it through a simple conversation. Why don't we decide it with a meeting in the Sea God's Pavilion? What do you think? Xian Lina didn't hesitate to reply, fine. A meeting at the Sea God's Pavilion it is. I'm just afraid that you won't show up. No matter what way you word it, our side's more logical. Come, we'll go and gather the elders from the Hall of Consecration and start the meeting. I want to see how why you think you can steal my student. Once the deans had left, the pressure that Hu Yu Hao felt in his heart lessened by a large amount. He hurriedly nodded and replied, Yes, teacher. The smartest thing he'd done throughout the situation was to not show where he stood on the matter. Though his heart was naturally inclined towards the soul tool department, it would be a lie if he said that Wang Yang and Dean Yang Xiaozhe's words hadn't moved him. The thing that had moved him most hadn't been Yang Xiaozhe's promises, as he already had two extremely powerful and intelligent soul rings. He wasn't worried about his chances of obtaining powerful soul rings and soul bones in the future either. What Wang Yang had said about the martial soul department being best qualified to teach a student with an ultimate martial soul, however, had moved him. Wang Dong said, right, that Dai Hu been lost to us again. When will we settle our bet? Wang Dong truly wasn't in the mood to deal with Dai Hu Bin. Furthermore, he felt somewhat regretful. If it hadn't been for their bet, he wouldn't have had to reveal his abilities during their advancement test. If not for that, he naturally wouldn't have to deal with the predicament he was currently in, we'll ignore him for now, Hu Yu Hao replied, let's just head back to our dorm rooms and wait for the academy's decision. It'd be best to simply be a bit more obedient for the time being. Wang Dong nodded. That's that then. Let's head back and cultivate, it's rare for you to be this diligent. Hu Yu Hao replied jokingly. Let's head back, Hu Yu Hao said, the most important thing we have to do right now is to work hard and increase our strength. We'll be considered to have established ourselves in the academy once we become disciples of the inner courtyard. Sea God's Island Sea God's Island had several buildings on it, but one among them was unquestionably the tallest and grandest. This building was the Sea God's Pavilion, situated in the heart of the island. Sea God's Pavilion was six floors tall, and every floor was more than ten meters high, which resulted in an extremely grand structure. In turn, the mist that pervaded the island year-round made it so that Shrek Academy's outer courtyard was unable to see it clearly. Sea God's Pavilion was the most important place within Shrek Academy, as the Hall of Consecration was located within it. The secret library that Yang Xiaozhe had spoken to Wang Yang about was also located here. There were also a few secrets not known to anyone located here as well. Thus, there was no lack of extremely valuable treasures here. Meetings would be held at Sea God's Island every time a major event happened within Shrek Academy. These meetings were of the highest importance to the Academy. Only the deans and vice deans of the Martial Soul Department and Soul Tool Department, along with the resident elders of the Hall of Consecration, had the right to take part in these meetings. Important matters would be resolved through a show of hands. The dean and vice dean of both departments had one vote each in these meetings. Currently, the Grand Conference Hall was completely silent. Inside of the room, ten people sat around a long oval table. A recliner had been placed at the innermost section, where the head of the long table sat a day. The light around the recliner was extremely dim, one could only faintly see that a person seemed to be lying on it. Compared to the ten people sitting around the round table, his posture caused him to appear particularly unusual. Xian Lina, Qian Duo Duo, Yang Xiaozhe, and that woman that looked fifty years old sat in a comparatively proper manner, while the elders all sat in various postures. Present amongst them was the elder that Wang Yang had called Elder Xian. He was seated near the front of the table and to the right of the chairperson. This also meant that he was currently seated in the first seat at Yang Xiaozhe's end of the table. At that moment, Elder Xian had a drumstick in his left hand and a wine calabash in his right. He looked extremely relaxed as he continued to eat and drink at the table. 
Yes, teacher. Yang Xiaozhe stood and bowed towards the person sitting at the head of the table. If any outsiders were to hear the way Yang Xiaozhe addressed that person, they would jump in shock. One had to realize that Yang Xiaozhe was famous for being over 60 years old, but in reality, he was over 90 years old. Furthermore, his teacher was actually still alive and in good shape. This was really shocking news. Even Elder Xian put his drumstick and wine calabash down when he heard the gentle voice rang out. He rubbed his oily palms on his clothes, then proceeded to sit relatively straight. The other resident elders also assumed rather proper sitting positions, only the person lying down kept their posture. Yang Xiaozhe bowed slightly toward the elders in front. Teacher and fellow resident elders, Lina and I have gathered everyone here today and initiated a Sea Gods Island meeting for a matter that will decide whether or not our academy will continue to prosper in the centuries to come. Bang. Xian Lina violently slammed his hand down on the table. Cut the chit chat and stop trying to scare people, Yang Xiaozhe. Get to the point. Yes, Elder Lin. Yang Xiaozhe looked towards Xian Lina. Even though a somewhat apologetic look was present in his eyes, his determination shone through even more. As the dean of the martial soul department, he definitely couldn't let his personal feelings affect his decisions. Xian Lina turned her head to the side refusing to look him in the eyes. Yang Xiaozhe lowered his voice and said, to all the resident elders, the matter is as follows, as he spoke, he didn't conceal the truth. He began with the bet he'd made with Qian Duo Duo, then narrated Hu Yu Hao's performance without missing a single detail. As soon as Yang Xiaozhe had finished speaking and had sat down, Qian Duo Duo immediately stood up, fellow elders, I don't completely agree with Dean Yang's narration. Sure, we made a bet. However, when we did so, even the soul tool department didn't know that Hu Yu Hao would gain a second martial soul. It goes without saying that this is an extraordinarily rare occurrence. Anyway, what we saw in him was his talent towards soul tools, Hu Yu Hao had been formally declared as Fan Yu's disciple. In the short span of eight months, he's gone from a normal soul engineer someone who'd never once touched a soul tool in his life, to a class two soul engineer. In order to nurture Hu Yu Hao, Dean Xian, Fan Yu, and I have talked things over. We've decided that the ultimate soldier plan will rest on his shoulders. As such, He Kai Tu, who was originally tasked with carrying out this plan, will act as an auxiliary soul engineer and will help educate him, fellow resident elders. I can understand Din Yang's feelings. An ultimate type martial soul is indeed extremely important to the martial soul department. However, is it not important to the soul tool department as well? Their department has already become the number one martial soul department on the continent, yet ours hasn't. We're always striving to do our best in the hopes that we'll make a breakthrough. Xian Lina said, Dean Qian's intentions are my intentions. The soul tool department is willing to stake everything on this child. If he's unable to fulfill the ultimate soldier plan, I'm willing to resign from my position as dean of the soul tool department. Yang Xiaozhe and the woman sitting beside him were shocked when they heard her say this. This was too cruel. Xian Lina really was being ruthless when she made this move. Once they heard the master of the Sea God's Pavilion, all of the veterans nodded one after another. Their complexions became much better as well. Xian Lina said, Teacher, what should we do if Hu Yu Hao's grades start dropping? The master of the Sea God's Pavilion smiled faintly and said, Isn't it obvious? If that happens, Simply let him choose a department. He'll join the department he likes the most. If that happens, we won't need to do anything else. However, Elder Xian, don't inquire about the boy's second martial soul. Though I'm curious as well, I can say for sure that this child has a very kind and resolute heart. As such, no matter what his second martial soul is, there's no need for us to pry into this secret. I understand, Pavilion Master. Elder Xian nodded in assent. Yang Xiaozhe and Xian Lina looked at each other. Their tense expressions now much looser than they had been. Since both parties had been in a deadlock, this outcome seemed to be the best one. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.